Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use Real-Time Coach as you are learning to utilize Transcriptionist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new job in Transcriptionist. And I'm going to call it RTC for Real-Time Coach. And I'm going to select my style. And now I'm going to go into Dictate. The job has to be highlighted. I definitely want to have the speech engine loaded. I'm going to select the user for my mask in the proper USB audio device. I'm going to click on open. I want to make sure I wait until my engine is completely open. Now that it says topic ready, I'm ready to begin. So I just want to bring up Real Time Coach and now that I'm ready to dictate, I am going to turn on my mic. I'm going to click on dictate to active window. I'm going to bring up Real Time Coach. Select my audio. Click on play. Ready? Begin. This may be a bit of an unusual comment, but I want to express comments about our hearing today and what I think my neighbors would say. I live in the Holly neighborhood on Bainbridge Island in Washington State. And one of our sons we have watched grow up in Little League is going to Baghdad in January. And he is a single parent of a 10-month-old son. And he is shipping out with the U.S. Army to Baghdad. And he is in training now. And I just kind of think my neighbors might ask some very serious questions about why we are here today when we are sending my neighbor's son to war in Baghdad. I have to question whether the reason we went to war is because of Saddam's fooling around with the oil for food program. I don't think that is why he is being sent to war. He is being sent to war because an administration used false information to start a war that is sending my neighbor's children to a potential demise in the sand of Iraq. I would be pleased, and I think my neighbors would be more interested as to how the federal government of the United States started a war based on materially false information, sending our children to war, then 
fiddling around with how Saddam stole some oil from United Nations or Exxon or anybody else. We ought to be investigating what we now learn from the Downing Street memos that, according to the British review of our intelligence, our intelligence was fixed around our policy rather than the other way around, and that our intelligence was folded, spindled, and mutilated, leading to a war in which we have lost 1,700 of our children. And we read in the Downing Street memos that the President of the United States made a decision to take this country to war well before, well before there was any material effort to resolve this matter other than through armed conflict. Those are matters worthy of the U.S. Congress investigating. And I don't blame the chairman for this because this may not be within his jurisdiction. And I respect the chair and whatever decision he makes about this hearing. But those are the things that the U.S. Congress ought to be investigating. Our children are not dying because of any scandal from the Oil for Food program. They are dying because of materially false information used to invade another sovereign country. This is something that we ought to get to the bottom of. And the only people that had a discussion have been down in the basement in a non-sanctioned hearing by the U.S. Congress to find out what happened here. And my neighbors in the Holly neighborhood would prefer us focusing on a different place. And I have just to tell you that perhaps I am influenced by the personal mourning of these people going to war, but I just think we are looking at the wrong place. So as you can see, my text did not drop very well, and even what did drop did not give me very good accuracy at all. If I click back into SpeechCat, into Transcriptionist, you can see that not all the text dropped here either.